By default, the Access 2010 program has a window color or a color scheme of silver, and mine's blue. I went ahead and changed it to blue. If you want to go ahead and change yours to either blue or black, those are the only two choices that you get. Just go ahead and click on the File tab, go Backstage, go down and click on Options, and then come up here, click on the General category, come down and where it says Color Scheme, click on the drop down arrow, and there you go. You got two other choices besides silver. Let me go ahead and change mine back to silver, click OK, and well, there you go, it's silver. Now, not only does it change it in Access, but any other Office 2010 applications that you have on your computer, it'll change all those at once as well. You can't just change one, it affects all of them. For example, if I come down here and click on the Start button and open up my PowerPoint 2010 application, it's also silver. So if I come up here in PowerPoint, File, Options, I went Backstage, it's got pretty much the same layout, their options and all these applications, well at least with the color scheme, and I go back to blue, click OK, there we go, PowerPoints in blue and Access and all the other Office 2010 applications that I have on my computer. Another default that I want to show you is later on when we start creating our databases or we go ahead and we create one to get you started. It wants to save it to the Documents folder on your computer. If you don't know where that's at or you want to save it to another folder, come up here and click on the File tab and we're going to change the default by clicking on the Options again. Coming up here, making sure that General is selected. Then down here it says when you're creating a database, what's the default folder that you want to dump that or create that in? By default it'll say Users, your username, and then Documents folder. If I want it saved to my Exercises folder on my desktop, which the address is already pointing to it, but let's say it wasn't, click on Browse, come over here in the Navigation pane, go to the Desktop, and there it is over in the main window, Exercises, select it, click OK, and there we go, it's pointing right to it, the Exercises folder. And then click OK, and like I said, in a later training video, when we go ahead and we create our first database, it'll create by default into that folder. Of course, keep in mind that default means that it's pointed to that folder. It doesn't mean that when I'm in the process of creating it, I can't change it on the fly. I can. It just means, hey, by default, I'm going to dump it here unless you change it on the fly. And select another folder when you're creating it. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.